So, hello there, folks. No, 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 not a thing. Uh, one of our troops is missing tonight, Ed. Uh, got the flu. He's got the flu. They say I can't that... understand how germs can live in his you got body. It. That blood's... <laughs> the germs got to get in and go, wow, you know. <laughs> no, I talked to him this morning, and he's, uh, he's under the weather. And he's also under his car. No, he was... <laughs> sounded terrible. Now, last night, you were saying you had... Yes. You were on some, uh, some kind of pills that you get from some uh, quack... Well, they're working. That's yeah. all I could tell you. You feel better? Yes, I do. I feel terrific. How many of you had the flu? This, uh, this, uh, there's a whole thing going on. Oh. Here. Okay, anyway, tonight, Mark Schiff will be out later. We have uh, Tricia Yearwood, marvelous singer. Jim Currier, the young man who just won the Australian Open. You don't play tennis, do you? No, I don't. But I... You have I, horses, don't you? Don't I do, you? yes. But now, are they quarter horses? We've talked about this before. I have some quarter horses, and I have thoroughbreds. Do did, did they still run? I mean... They're still running from the last race. <laughs> Have you, have you made money with these animals? Yes. They're expensive, aren't they? Oh, I've made money. Yeah? But I've lost a lot more than I really? made. <laughs> you got to feed them, you got to... You got to brush them and do all of that stuff. You, you have people that do but that. But you got to keep up your tennis court, too. Oh, no, I'm sorry. You have people that do that for you. <laughs> I, mean, I, have you. I go out and clean it up. I, what day did you ever go out and sweep off the tennis court? Um, yeah, yesterday. <laughs> I'm not buying that. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad Michael Fox is here tonight. He's a most talented young man, and uh, he's in town. He's, he's out, he's directing, he's directing an episode of Brooklyn Bridge. Would you welcome Michael J. Fox? <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Mr. Carson, but those, those courts are... are <laughs> when I hire help, I hire good help, yeah. yeah. Hey, it's good to see you. Thanks yeah, for coming. it's nice to be back. I, um, I just, I'm going to be in town for a little while, and then I'm going back east, and right. uh, by the next time I'm in California, you'll be sailing somewhere. Maybe over the hill, Something, yeah. you'll be gone, so I wanted uh, one last chance to come and see you. Hey, that's me. great. Well, we're glad you're here. Thank you. Uh, now, it, you live where now, permanently? I know you have friends uh, here in Los Angeles. You yeah. got one in Vermont, I think. Yeah, and uh, and Florida, and Connecticut. Yeah, Connecticut. Yeah. Had, had a good decade, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you've had a great Sorry. decade. Yes. You remember the first time you were in this? Yeah, building? the first time I was here. Um, as a matter of fact, I have it in my office. I have a thing now. I don't know. You know, thirty years. I guess I can let out a couple of trade secrets, but. I was uh, auditioning for something, you know, my mother, the refrigerator of some NBC, you know, Fred Silverman pilot that didn't go anywhere. And, uh, and I, so on my, on my way out, I know I'm not getting a job. I thought, I'm leaving NBC. How, many, with, how long ago was this? This is about 10 years ago. Right. I said, I'm leaving NBC with something. Damn it, I'm taking something. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and I encourage you to do the same That's thing. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There's ashtrays, there's little... Folks, as you leave here tonight, take a seat or something. It's a Just run. you know, we're clearing house. Everything so, must go. So I'm going by the, the dumpster, and um, and there was uh, and there was a, a, a cue card. You know, maybe one time or another you use yeah, the cue card. I'm sure. not saying you always do. Um, but that's no but, great secret. But anyway, but I took it, and I and I took it, and I took it home, and uh, and you know, and I got together with my other unemployed friends, and we were you know dodging the landlord and stuff, and I said, look what I have, and I said, one day I'll be on the Tonight Show. And I'll get Johnny Carson to sign this cue card. And you was did it for me. Cue card from the monologue? Yeah, I remember the joke, too. It was, uh, you you were, said it and I signed it. You signed it. And you, you had been on the cover of TV Guide that week. And you said something. And the, the joke was, uh, you don't know how good it feels to know that in paper bags all over America, pork loins are dripping on my face. <laughs> so not only did You I, have that? Not only did you get the cue card, it was a good joke. Yeah. <laughs> I just couldn't win for winning. So what did you, did, did you? I, it's, it's in my office. Oh, come on. Absolutely, it's framed and in my office. Well, I'll be damned. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's nice. Right. Now, I didn't, I didn't know this. Somebody told me in a roundabout way, your father, who uh, has since passed away, I my guess, My father right? passed away a couple of years ago. He was... Was on the show, but in what me. capacity? Well, he, a long time ago, I couldn't get on The Tonight Show. Uh, first season of Family Ties. I couldn't get on, but I could. I did have enough pull to get tickets for my folks. So I got my, my mom and dad tickets for The Tonight Show. And they came back. I said, how was it? And they 
they were just kind of giggling and they wouldn't say anything. They said, just watch it, just watch it. And sure enough, you did that thing, you know, the edge of wetness. Our soap opera where we usually remember the And it's like 1981, 82. And boom, close, close on my dad. Uh, Chucky Upchuck, the loneliest man in Sludge Falls. <laughs> You're kidding. No, he completely, he completely took the wind out of my sails. He was on The Tonight Show before me. That's pretty funny. Yeah, he was great. He was a good sport about Only it, Loneliest man in Sludge Falls. Yeah. And it was a big, just a big, he was a big guy. Yeah. So he, he filled his, he had a lot of presents. Yeah. He filled, the, yeah. He filled the screen. Yeah, I met your mother tonight. She's a lovely lady. Yeah, she was really yeah. excited about, about meeting you. Did you always get she, along great with your parents? Uh, yeah, when absolutely. When you were growing I, up? I really lucked out. I had yeah. unbelievable parents and uh, a brother and three sisters and, uh, and uh, really, really am lucky. Yeah, that's my, great. My, my wife, uh, Tracy Pollan, actually comes from the same kind of family, so it's, uh, it's great. Important. It's, it's I, was that, I saw your son back here. My How kid, old? Two yeah. and a half? Two and a half. Sam, yeah. Yeah. Cute. Now, did, you, did you watch Barbara Walters last night? Sam is even more miffed than, than Letterman that he's not the host next. <laughs> <laughs> So he's, he's just ranting around back there going, where's Cordon? Good looking kid. We're going to take a short break. We're coming right back. Stay where you are. On the edge of what? We're back talking with Michael J. Fox. When you, uh, when you first came out to Hollywood, you mentioned about coming and auditioning for shows. Uh, you didn't come from a financially wealthy family or something. It was kind of lean going for a while, wasn't it? Yeah, well, you know, my, my father was in the military, and right. uh, so I'm sure a lot of people watching in the military, it's, you so know... So you're they, a military brat, huh? Yeah. Military keeps it so you're not starving, but you, you, you're you not going anywhere. You're just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but... Um, Did you travel a lot then when you were Yeah, dead? we traveled all across Canada, and... Uh, yeah. Hey! Hey! hey. So you come out here and you didn't have much money and you're out auditioning for yeah, shows. Yeah, I, I had a pretty good year the first year. I did a lot of the episodic stuff, you right. know, Lou Grant and all of that stuff. Um, I, I just screwed up so bad the first year that I was here because I, I get, you know, I probably made like about 40 grand or something. I was 19. That was a lot, That's of, a money. lot of money. That's a lot of money. But they came to me. I See, I didn't understand uh, withholding. I didn't know what that... <laughs> You'd never been in a position where no, they withheld they anything. Said, okay, here's the deal. We can either like keep half of it now uh -huh. and give you half and then maybe you'll get a little bit back later. Or we can give all of it to you now, and we'll just deal with it in April. And I so, said, yeah, all of it. Give me a gimme. Yeah, all, of it part, all of it part sounded great to me. And then April came along, and, and I went into hiding. And that, <laughs> and that half they were going to take, you had already... Yeah, that was, yeah. I had, uh -huh. Yeah, I'd had some fun. You understand how it works now? Yeah, I got it. Now. Give them the money. Yeah. If, <laughs> if the IRS are watching, I understand. You, if you look through my records, you'll see. Um, so but what, yeah, what, so what and, then, and then I had a kind of tough year after that, but... but no, what did I, you do in the meantime when, when the jobs weren't coming along? I just, you know, kind of I learned... I, it was weird because I had a visa that only let me act because um, I'm Canadian. So I uh -huh. couldn't, you know, be a busboy or any of those things. And uh, so I just kind of had a way to I didn't out. understand that. In other yeah. words, you couldn't... You know, no, I could only be an actor. Um, which makes you like probably the less least useful person <laughs> yeah. around. You know? well, so what can you do? I sweep and clean. What do you do? I act. Basically. I act. Okay. Over there. Um, but uh, but you know, it was a t I had about a tough year and, and it was getting down to, to you know I had no phone and all that stuff. When I got I've told the story before. When I got family ties, I, I was negotiating the deal from a payphone at the uh, Pioneer Chicken. You're and, kidding. And, <laughs> And, uh, you know, saying, well, damn it, you know, I need more than that, you know, and I'm wishing that I could go in and buy some chicken. And you're calling from a phone booth <laughs> from a chicken place. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, someone would make noise in the background. Be, oh, Sylvia, come on, we'll just turn the TV down. We had some bag lady looking at you like this. Right? <laughs> so, so that was the beginning of the, the beginning Family of the, Ties. And that ran how many years? Family Ties ran seven years. And yeah. a great day. Yeah. You get this all the time. I hope this is not sensitive, but you, you always look young. Yeah. Uh, was that a, a hindrance sometimes? No. Looking I, younger than you really it's, are. It's always been kind of great. I never really thought about it much. You know, when people say that it, you know Napoleon complex, you get old. I have so many. I'm screwed up in so many other ways. That, <laughs> that was never never a problem for me. But um, you know, as a matter of fact, when I started, when I moved to the states, one of the uh, my voice is still cracking. Yeah. When I moved to the uh, when I moved to the states, it was one of the ways that I got jobs because it's very expensive for them to hire like a 17 year old. Right. Uh, but a 19 year old, they can work like an adult. So I, I got a lot of jobs that way. But I try. I mean, you know, I've done things. I grew a mustache once. Does that does that help at all? No. You want to look a little a little older, you mean? I looked goofy. I yeah. look like I look like Dorf, you know? <laughs> Tim Conway. Tim Conway. Dorf on golf. <laughs> um, 
And it was there. I don't, I don't know why people have them. I mean, no offense, but. <laughs> Let's find out. Why don't we find out why people have them? Yeah, Doc, why do people I have them? Have them. I grew it, this because my first wife hated it. Ah. <laughs> That may be the reason the first wife is no longer around, right? That's right. right. That, that, that explains that, but this could take all night. Uh, I definitely have another explanation yeah. for this, which we won't go into. Yeah. It looks great. And less filling, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I, I had one, and I, and I grew it, and, uh, but I like Indian food, you know? Yeah. And like a week later, after scrubbing this thing, you can still smell Coming it up. like roti, you know? So yeah. I, I just took it off. Yeah, you're out here now doing something that you uh, really. In, in, yeah, I'm really excited enjoy. about. Uh, I'm, I'm, I like kind of direct a little bit every now and then. Um, people just be nice to me and let me do it. Yeah, I let them direct. Me. Um, but Gary Goldberg is uh, has a show. The guy who, who created Family Ties has right. a show called Brooklyn Bridge, uh, which is probably the best show on TV. It just won the Golden. I hear good show. things about it. Great, great, great show, and I uh, and he's letting me direct an episode of it. So. Are you good so, at it? Um, Nobody's told me I'm not yet. <laughs> uh, I think so. I, I like it. You know, as an actor, you show up and uh, you show up to work in the morning. You kind of go in and read the paper and have something to eat, put a little makeup on, and sit around, watch TV, and then they go and say a couple lines and then come back. Uh, as a director, the minute you get out of your car, people are coming up. You know, we got to relight in here. Are these forks okay for the restaurant scene? The scene is bad. We got to yeah, do this. Yeah. So I like being busy that way. Yeah, it's kind of great. great. Mm -hmm. Suppose, uh, suppose um, family ties had gone on for more. What would have happened to Alex Keaton in, in the show? Did they look ahead and say... He'd be like a bunkmate with Michael Milken, right? <laughs> 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 he'd, be like, he'd be like, Mike, it's, you're fine without the toupee. Don't worry, you look good. <laughs> it was great to have you here. I'm really glad you came out well, before we, we cash this thing pleasure. in. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much for everything you've done hey, for me. Hey, come on. Thank you for coming. We'll, uh, we'll take a break. We're coming right back. <laughs> 